Hello Chelsea Chatters, just a, a quick one, a little tribute to John Hollins who, who died this week. He was a fantastic player and in the first team, first Chelsea team that I actually started to watch live. I never met him personally but I've been told what a great guy he, uh, he was. Didn't do that great as a manager for us but as a player, absolute legend. Rest in peace John and here's a little tribute for you. Paddy Mulligan now leaving it for John Hollins. Bearing in fast with a left foot drive. And now Harris. Hollins has gone off on another break and Nelson's gone with him. Hollins! Good work by Hollins! Oh, against the post! Can he do it? He can! John Hollins! Oh, what a beautiful... John Hollins, born on the 16th of July 1946. In Guildford, Surrey, he died sadly on the 14th of June 2023. He made 436 appearances for Chelsea in his first stint between 1963 and 1975, scoring 47 goals. He went away to QPR and Arsenal before coming back to Chelsea for the 83-84 season, where he made 29 appearances and scored one goal. His total senior appearances come to 744 and he scored 63 goals. One cap for England back in 1967. And he actually managed Chelsea between 1985 and 1988. He was a dynamic midfielder. I'll never forget him when I first started watching him. As he got older, he went and played at, at full-back. But uh, just 100% just commitment. Crikey, if... If our team last season, the 22-23 uh, team had had John Hollins' commitment, we'd have uh, we'd have been top four, no problem. But that's not the case, is it? So yeah, John Hollins scored some great goals and um, his assists must have been through the roof. Didn't have assists then. When you were manager at Chelsea, you had some rough times there and it was a lot of pressure. Do you think the pressure today is tougher? Or not so. Did you think in those days that there was more? That's a great question. <coughs> it's a very good question. No. The answer is no. No. Seriously. Um, well, first of all, you've got a chairman. And I had Mr. Bates. Um, not a bad lad. Not a bad lad, but you know, after about three years, which you usually get fed up, he took me to lunch to uh, the Ritz. Wonderful, smoked salmon, brilliant, nice wine and everything else. And he said, uh, what? He said, uh, I'm thinking of calling it a day. I said, Jim, I think you're doing a great job. He said, no, I'm fucking getting rid of you. <laughs> that? So there we go, folks. John Hollins, rest in peace. 